So, ladies and gentlemen, we have Maria Saridaki here. So, Maria, could you please elaborate like what was, what was your main interest to attending the ITEC 2014? Um, I come to ITEC many, many years, um, but every year I, I learn something new and uh, I get to meet uh, quite interesting people, both in my field but uh, and other multidisciplinary uh, fields that, in the end, they all combine. In, a, in an effort to, to talk about state of the arts and the future of uh, assistive technologies and virtual worlds in education. Mm -hmm. Could you please explain us how your gaming affects, affects your daily work? Uh, well, gaming not only affects my daily work, but my daily work is about gaming. <clears throat> uh, first of all, what I do is I do research on people with, dis with intellectual disabilities when they're using games in their educational experience and uh, so that's what I do and uh, my other heart apart from the University of Athens is I, I help to run a, a festival of street games in the streets of Athens so we have a small community of people that love to design urban games. Mm -hmm. So how do you see the future of like this kind of educational gaming or I cannot say about that, but I can say that since the future of gaming seems to be more than promising and um, that in the near future we are all going to be part of this gaming culture, whatever that means, one way or another, that means that all the, in the educational implication will be there and hopefully, if we do it the right way, we can say that games can assist people with or without disabilities trying to learn better and have better experiences. Mm -hmm. And could you tell us briefly about the presentation which you had today? Yes, I had two presentations. The one was about my PhD research and it was about uh, uh, what it means and how we can describe the experience of students with intellectual disabilities when games are being used in the classroom about intrinsic motivation and how they uh, and if and how uh, they can um, facilitate their own learning autonomously. And the second one it was about urban games was about street games and it was a project that we did with Eleni Kolovo, a colleague of mine, uh, regarding how different types of uh, urban games can help people uh, understand the roots and uh, uh, understand uh, different layers of urban uh, meanings. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And despite your presentation, like uh, which presentation or part of the conference so far you find most interesting? I, uh, the majority of the talks were extremely interesting. To be honest, I was uh, I pointed out many many things from the keynote speaker today regarding virtual worlds and and all this twenty year old research on virtual worlds for people with uh, uh, disabilities and uh, what it means to do all this. Uh, uh, cooperational uh, design involving everybody because it is something that affects me and my work as well. But to be honest, I'm really looking forward to learn about the uh, the the sessions that I missed because I'm sure that they've been amazing as well. So I'm really looking forward to see all the uploaded videos and learn about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think it's like cut. So I'll just I have to manually switch it off, but.